So one, one new observation that we've made over the last few years in our clinic and others around the world have made is that uh, hepatitis C among men who have sex with men is on the rise. And what we're finding is that the transmission is different than we might think from in other populations. Specifically, the, the uh, transmission comes from sexual exposures in HIV positive men who have sex with men. Uh, we began to see this about 10 years ago. Uh, our group was the first to describe it here in San Francisco. Others have described it in New York City and several urban areas in Europe, London, Amsterdam, and Paris. Um, and what we're finding is just very high rates of transmission among HIV positive men who have sex with men. Men who might not perceive themselves to be at risk for hepatitis C and are really caught off guard by the diagnosis of acute hepatitis C. Um, the diagnosis often comes unaware. We pick it up on routine monitoring of liver function tests that we might do just for a routine visit. And when those come back as abnormal, we look into it and find that in fact the person has acquired a new hepatitis C infection and the only risk they have is sexual risk. So that's a message we're really trying to get out to the community and let people know that there is clearly a risk um, from sexual exposures of transmission of hepatitis C. This really comes in the context of men who are engaging in uh, what we call seroadaptive behaviors, meaning that they know they're positive, they know their partner is positive, and they decide not to use condoms for sex because there's not a risk of transmitting HIV. That's absolutely true. But when we introduce hepatitis C into that equation, people may be putting themselves at risk for hepatitis C without even really being aware. So we really want people to be aware that that's a potential risk of having unprotected sex with other men um, if you don't know their hepatitis C status.